what is going on everybody, Stephen here and greetings from the CS 2016 and right now we're here on the Huawei booth having a closer look at the Huawei Mate 8. So that's the premium edition but there's also one standard edition, retails currently in Europe for $599 and the difference to the premium edition is basically the memory. So we have the premium edition running 4GB of RAM and 64GB of ROM and the standard edition only comes with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of ROM. So I'm not really sure about the price tag on the premium version but you will find some more information down below in the description. So the Mate 8, beautiful looking smartphone, kind of slim, nice metal body. Let's talk about the specs. Huawei um, Kirin 950 processor, it's a superior octa-core processor. It comes with a 4000 mAh battery. You actually won't believe that because the phone looks really kind of small. Not sure about the exact dimensions, but just check this out guys. This is just like 7 mm, but for sure also curved on the backside, which makes it appear a little bit slimmer. Okay, it's a 6 inch display with high color saturation, not really sure about the exact display technology, but looks pretty, pretty good. So, um, 60 megapixel rear camera, PDA, also um, optical Im image stabilization and a very fast autofocus. The Kirin 950 processor clocks with 2.3 GHz um, on the first quad-core and there's a second quad-core clock with 1.8 GHz, fully support 64 bits and yeah, it's a 60 nanometer processor. So the premium edition, as I've told you before, comes with 4 gigs of RAM, 64 GB of ROM and it runs Android 6.0 Marshmallow plus the Huawei EMUI 4.0. So let's just go, let's have a closer look here at the smartphone itself. Now we have here on-screen buttons, a softer button, something I don't like so much, but here at the bottom the Huawei logo and the display is just stunning. The display has full HD resolution, so nothing super fancy with 6 inches, but I have to say it looks absolutely sharp. So just have a look here right now at the close-up and it looks really good even though it's just full HD resolution. Okay, so um, combined with the 4000 million hours of battery capacity, it should actually bring you at least through one day. Then let's also have a closer look here at the top. Front facing camera should have 8 megapixels and then also in the middle we have the earpiece and on the left side we have a notification LED. Let's quickly turn it around. So that's the back side guys. Here we have the fingerprint scanner. It's a round one placed here. So like most phones on the back side, here we have the rear camera as I've told you 60 megapixels with optical image stabilization and we have a dual tone LED flash. So let's have a closer look here on the frame and here on the right side we have um, the power button and we also have here the volume rockers, so up and down. So here on the left side we have the SIM card tray and it's a dual SIM card tray but you don't have actually the opportunity to use um, also micro SD cards at the same time. So you can use one micro SIM card and one micro SD card or two micro, SD, uh, micro SIM cards at the same time. Then here at the top we have the 3.5mm headphone jack all along with a top microphone for noise cancellation. The body itself it's made out of metal, looks absolutely fancy but just at the top we have here some kind of plastic caps to get a better signal reception. Okay, so that's the phone here from the outside. Now let's have a closer look here at the smartphone, at the UI and let's talk a little bit about that. And there we go ladies and gentlemen, so this is EMUI 4.0. Basically the same I also had on my Honor 7 because, yeah, you know, Honor belongs to Huawei and it's a little bit customized, there is no app drawer, but if you want to, just install a different launcher as always with Android. Let's go here to the settings, here you can see dual card management because dual SIM, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and also NFCs inside, also it has for instance support for Link Plus. So let's go back here, so um, we have here just the on-screen buttons, kind of annoying and the phone is really huge, so a bit hard to control with one hand. Okay, so you can configure the home screen style display sound. So basically what you've seen on the Honor 7 too, fingerprint ID and it also has for, um, sorry guys, really hard to control with one hand. And um, here you can see the screen lock style, so everything here is customizable. You can, it supports smart unlock to unlock it with your smartwatch and a Bluetooth device and a lot of stuff in here. Um, all in all, I have to say the Huawei Mate 8 at the first look looks really outstanding because of the display and the um, fact that it's really kind of thin. Um, we can also have a quick look here at the image stabilization and just check this out guys. This is absolutely smooth here. If you want to capture a movie, it looks really, really stunning. We can also quickly have a look here at the photo quality and I mean, I can't really tell you a lot here but um, we can just have a quick look at um, the photo here on the smartphone and it should be 60 megapixels on the back and 8 megapixels on the front side so let's quickly switch to the front side so we can check this out and there we go. So this is the front facing camera, looks pretty cool, fuck off flow. 
and it looks actually really good because it's wide angle. Okay, we have here really good light from the booth, but so far the first look looks absolutely awesome. For sure, as face beauty mode makes you look like a retard, but yeah, it looks actually cool. So that's the Huawei Mate 8. The standard version retails for $599 and the premium version, I'm not really sure about the price tag, but you should be able to get it from Amazon too and we'll leave you some links down below in the description. Beautiful looking smartphone, not so happy with the EM UI, but as soon as you get used to it, it's actually pretty good. So, kind of pricey, um, I'm pretty sure we'll do a review, but I can't tell you when because it's a really um, expensive smartphone, but I will now talk to Huawei, maybe I can get a sample on the Mate 8. So stay tuned for the full review, see you soon in the next one.